Jamar Wall just shy of the 20 yard. Offensive line keeps it clean. Can't find an open receiver. Now chucks it. First down. And there's the main man, number five, Michael Crabtree. And Batch circles out as a running back as an extra receiver. Wide open down the middle to the 41 yard line. Yard line need four. Down he goes. Sacked for the first time. Wrapped up by Miller. Eye formation. Conservative in the end zone safety. A safety on the first handoff of the game. Colby Whitlock. The nose man is in on Chris Obaniah, and it's 2 0 Red Raiders. They'll have their eye on number five. Second down and five. Harold steps off to the right and throws complete for the first down. He hits Lewis. Most champ trying to overload the front. Tries to get to Harold. Does not. Crabtree again rips away to the 12 yard line. He's simply Linwood. Here it is, folks. His first field goal attempt, 29 yards. Rips it through. How about this young man? Here's the first one, and it's big. McCoy himself, remember he got 51. He gets stood up. He gets stood up, but he may get the spot. Gonna go deep. Got a man open, and Shipley can't hold on. Folks, they're not executing. Gonna go deep. Caught at midfield by Edward Britton. Seconds ticking away, and it'll be Batch touchdown. Baron Batch with the evening's first touchdown. Quarterback draw, they circle him and won't give it to him. Inside handoff, breaking his batch, who scored the game's first touchdown, muscling his way to midfield. That's your offensive line. Harrell, wide open in the middle, is Swindle. Eight fourteen. Drops back to midfield. Fires, reaching for the first down, and he got it. Low snap. Picks it up, got a man wide open, touchdown! Eric Morris, his fifth touchdown of the season. Almost picked off. Charbonnet, Daniel Charbonnet, who transferred from Duke, almost picked it off. A flanker screen with Crabtree. Another first and ten. Put it down. There's a fumble. Horns are signaling that they've got it. Mac Brown's right in the middle. Williams oh, came away wild. with it. Aaron Williams. Wow. Big play. Saying Texas is football. Can't find anybody. Steps away. Throwing down at the 28-yard line by Williams again. are on the scoreboard. Ten. Grew up in the Cody. Went to school at BYU. And here's his running attack with Woods down to the 32-yard line. Running again with Woods for another first down and into the red zone's back. When uh, Leach was notified that he was eligible to play, put him in the uniform, hit nine extra points last week against Kansas. He's already hit a field goal in this game. Manageable. But tonight they look anything 
but the number one team in the nation. Fielded at the four-yard line, and a gap to the 25-yard line, and that's where Colt McCoy's beat. Under pressure again, drops it off, incomplete. That was Dixon. Keeping on the ground short. And with Cosby injured, Shipley fields it at the 45. This is going to be a great field position for the Hawks. He's got an alley. There is a penalty flag down. As he goes into the end zone, there is a flag at the 30-yard line. There is no foul for illegal block in the back. The Touchdown. Touchdown. Touchdown, Shipley. A 45-yard punt return. Third down. Most chance got heat. Miller's on him. And that's short of a first down incomplete. They're forced to punt. Muschamp's defense has come alive here in the second half. Steps up. Intercepted. Picked off by Charbonnet. And Charbonnet scores. Shoving, and there's your interference call, but who is this one on? Stumbling. Complete. And running for the end zone is Williams. Touchdown, Texas. Malcolm Williams. His second touchdown of the season, a 37-yarder as the big fella broke free. Middle. To the 32-yard line, and it's Edward Britton. Carroll throws for it to the 10-yard line, third and seven. Carroll in trouble suddenly. Not going away as Kendall came in and cleaned it up, but it was Miller and his buddies from that defensive. His first miss, it's blocked. It'll be Longhorn football. The crowd alive and loving. He's got a man open. Got him. And in a foot race is Williams pulling away. They won't catch him. Touchdown, Texas. 91 yards. Williams' second touchdown of the night. Much better in the second half. Snared out of the air. Snapped right down by Detron Lewis. A screen pass to the wide receiver, and they bust it. This time they run Woods for the first down. There's that wide receiver screen again with Britton. They're going to run for the first and ten. Batch. Fires almost intercepted. Almost picked off by Thomas. Now they may go to the longer legged kicker here. They may go to the left footed youngster. He's a little bit longer. Here's Corona. And, the, and he nails it. They send Corona onto the field. He's been the kickoff man. Got the first down. Number 92 checks in late as the defensive rush man. They go back to the run. The speedster Whitaker breaks to the next level, and he is into Red Raider territory. Two and a half minutes remaining. McCoy keeps it. Got the first and ten. Steps out of bounds. Gets the call. End zone. Touchdown. An extra point away from coming back in dramatic fashion to take a lead with 129 remaining. The first time tonight, 33-32. They expect to return this. It's Wall, and he's coming out. 15, alley in the middle. 30, 35, and run out of 
bounds at the 37 with 123. And that's a splendid return by Jamal Wall, the defense. There's that quick hitch over to the flanker for the first and 10. Another first and 10, stopping the clock with Lewis's reception. Harold. And that's a first and 10. Can't take a sack. Deflected, intercepted, Texas. No, they rule it down, incomplete. I thought for sure that he had deflected it to Gideon. There's eight ticks of the clock left. And Texas Tech needs to get organized here because the play clock has already started. The ball's up in the air. The true freshman, Blake Gideon, Brent comes underneath it. That's oh, a drill that you it. work on all the time. It goes right <laughs> through his arm. I saw it at his yeah. legs, and I thought he'd had it. Still one timeout left here for Texas Tech. Eight seconds. Second down now. Deep strike. Got the big man. Touchdown, Red Raiders, with a second to go. This is 28 yards. The fans have stormed the field. They're going to have to clear the field here. They're going to have to clear the field. They've got to get everybody off, and they're going to penalize Texas Tech. Oh, chaos. Cole Poster down on one side of the field. Yeah, the first thing they've got to do is review Crabtree on that far sideline. Well, Brett, when you have the best receiver in college football going up against an inexperienced corner, you just throw it up and allow him to adjust and make the play and the strength of his hands to get around Curtis Brown and into the end zone. He did not step out of bounds. And Harold just put this up, relying on the best receiver in college football to make a play and the strength of his hands. Big time players make big plays in big games. And that's what Michael Crabtree just did. After further review, Bruin on the field is confirmed. Touchdown. And they're going to storm the field again. they got to get him off. This game's not over. Now, if they penalize the crowd for this, remember that kickoff. Okay, with Shipley and Williams back deep now. Clock is not going to move on an extra point. Unsportsmanlike conduct by the offense. That penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. Folks, that could be no small thing here now with what we've seen. Leach is getting ready to tell the kicker probably to squib it. Don't even think about those two guys back deep. Isn't that Trinity School in Texas that had yeah. 15 laterals? Isn't that <laughs> close by here? I believe so. They may have to copy that play, the Horns, huh? Yeah. It's the anniversary, too. And here's Matt Williams. It's about to be... <laughs> the crowd. Are you kidding me? I mean, I'm so happy we're out here. Lisa! Take cover, girl. Head to the truck. She's got to stay down there to talk to the winning coach. It's 56,333 here tonight, folks. A new stadium record. And all, fit well, the Horn fans aren't going to take the field, but the rest of them are here. <laughs> I'll tell you, if, if they don't have a miracle. What a scene tonight in Melbourne. Well, we had the Amarillo. It's pretty good stuff with this guy. Good stuff, my friend. 
made it. Right, here we go now. Runs up two weeks in a row. Corona, one of the few times you'll ever see a kickoff team starting from their own end zone. And uh, Shipley certainly on the uh, the return team. And so let's see what uh, Mike Leach uh, wants Corona to do here. Squibbit. Here comes the lateral. There's one. Intercepted. Texas Tech upsets the number one team in the country. No more penalties for this crowd. They can storm the field. There's the symbol of loving. Guns up. Let's go to Lisa with the quarterback. Let's start with you first. Take me through that touchdown play, the game-winning play. What happened? They're, in, they're trying to man up crab. There's not anyone in the country that can man up crab. And I saw, man, uh, the guy wasn't looking. I threw it behind him when he didn't see the ball. Crab makes a play. He's the best in the country. There's no doubt about it. What were you thinking when you looked up? 129 left to go and you guys are down. I want to win the game. You know what I mean? You left us too much time. Uh, you know, when, with this offense, we know we can score in a hurry. A uh, minute 29 is way too much time for us, and I believe. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations. Michael, same question. Describe that touchdown for me. Describe that touchdown for you. Oh, man. I, I, I... I don't want to say nothing, but I dreamed it the same way. It's crazy. No, you didn't. I dreamed in my head. I said, but you know how you do it every play you dream? But it really happened. So, I mean, it was, it was great, man. And when you looked up on the clock and saw 129 left and you were down, what were you thinking? Woo! I was thinking we got to do our job. We got to go out there and score. If not get a field goal range, so we get Max kick it. But, I mean, I got to take it in. All right, thank you very much. Congratulations. Lisa, our Chevrolet players of this game, no surprise. The two great quarterbacks who dueled it out here in Lubbock tonight. And in recognition of their effort, Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. Welcome to November. <laughs> oh, that's great. This Texas is Tech stuns the world, Kurt. 39 33. There will be a new number one come Sunday afternoon. A reminder next Saturday, Saturday Night Football on ABC, presented by Southwest Airlines at 8 Eastern Time. It's been an instant classic. Thanks for watching ESPN on ABC. So long, everybody.